Hi there and welcome to the channel. I hope you're keeping safe and well. Well in this tutorial we're going to be looking at groups in Logic Pro X. So why don't we just dive in. Okay so you can go to channel strip settings and groups just to enable those if you haven't already got those. And the first thing I like to do is just to create some mute groups. So I've got an MCU Pro Universal Control Service and uh, I just find this really useful to create some mute groups across my VCAs. This is easily done, just go straight into, into groups. I'm going to create a first one for the low end if you like the bass and the kicks and the drums and the percussions. I'm just going to label that up. So I'm going to label it a mute group. group. And I'm going to group my synths and my guitars together. Again, so let's highlight those both. now for the vocals so if I had a back in back in vocals I may create a, a mute group for those as well okay so you can turn these on and off as you see fit and also you can hide them Okay, now we need to go into settings, and I'm just going to highlight the options, mute. I'm going to turn off automation and volume, I don't need those functions. And just make sure that that's uh, the same across each group. Mute, mute. And there you have it, the mute group is created. Okay, there's a lot more that we can do with these uh, groups other than just setting up mute groups. So why don't we just dive in and have a look at some uh, bass tracks. Okay, so here's two bass tracks recorded at the same time. And uh, let's set up a, uh, let's highlight these, create a group called bass. So, so as you can see, there's lots of things we can do with these two bass tracks. We can link the volume, mutes, uh, we can uh, link pan if you want to, solo together, track zoom together, uh, which is a useful feature. But also what I want to focus on is uh, editing, because uh, by clicking uh, the editing function, actually this, this little function can save us a lot of time. Okay, so let's delve into the actual audio and have a look at editing. So notice how the track zoom is all done together on those group tracks. Okay, let's click flex time. Slicing auto is fine. Okay, so these two tracks were recorded through an Aguilar tone hammer, a DI and a line in. So by grouping the editing function, by adjusting the top audio, I'm automatically adjusting the bottom one. So editing audio this way is just going to speed up my workflow. It just means I don't have to treat each audio as a separate item when I'm editing. So hopefully you've enjoyed that quick tip video. Please don't forget to subscribe and click that bell icon because there's more content coming all the time. So keep safe and well and bye for now.